What is going on guys? This is Guido FIFA here and welcome back to another FIFA 17 video. So what I'll be showing you today is a 75,000 coin squad builder on FIFA 17 on my team and literally this squad is just amazing and um, yeah, I'm not sure how much it will cost on Xbox, but I, I do know for sure that it's 75,000 coins on PlayStation. Um, if you do want to figure out how much is on Xbox, just count all these players up on Footbin and then um, you'll get the total of how much this team is worth. And um, yeah, after I do build the squad, I will show you guys uh, a little a compilation of the best goals I scored with this team. I'm just showing you like, little highlights uh, on just the best parts on what this team can do and yeah if you guys do enjoy this video then hit like if you can hit like 15 to 20 likes that would just be amazing if you're new to the channel subscribe and let's get into the squad builder so guys the formation that we are going to be using for today's squad build is going to be a 4-3-3 the 4 variation uh with the two centimeters and the cam and obviously the first uh, position we're going to cover is going to be the goalkeeper and the player that did choose for the goalkeeper is going to be ter stegen and this keep is so so good and considering it's only worth 3.5k he's just gonna make some just extraordinary saves and I do recommend him, you recommend him a lot as you can see he is 6 foot 2 he uh, does have 6 foot 2 height and he does have the acrobatic save technique and he has, does have really really good stats 85 reflexes 84 diving 81 handling and a free kicking as well and the two center backs with him will be PK and Sako and um, yeah why I did pick Sako is because he is a really really cheap player and he's French so I do need the hard link for my right back or the centre mid I can't really remember and um, with the PK I did pay um, 17,000 coins for him and as you can as you can see he is 6 foot 4 uh, tall and he does have very good stats as well it's like an all rounder because having 61 shooting for a centre back is really really good and 61 pace is not too bad as well but the main stats which um, make PK a really really good player is the 86 defending and 76 physical then the next player we got with him is going to be Sako as I did say earlier and I did pay 2000 coins for him I did snipe him for like 2k cheaper and yeah he is tall as well 6 foot 2 uh, he does have really really good pace six, uh, 62 pace similar to his PKs and he does have really really good defending and physical with 81 and 84 and as you can see his work rates are attacking and defensive and PKs is a uh, higher medium which is not the best I, I actually do like to have my uh, defenders to stay back while attacking but um, if you do set them to stay back while attacking they will not go forward so um, you get the full backs on the left back we do have Digne uh, a new transfer for the Barcelona this season and yeah I did pay 1.7 thousand coins for him and he does have really really good stats 80 pace, 75 defending, 72 physical, 75 passing, 75 dribbling and um, I do recommend him quite a lot because I did play that one game with him as you can see and it did feel like a really really good left back and on the right back position we do have um, Sainia and uh, yeah I did play quite a lot for him um, 7.1k as you can see and he does have 4 star weak foot um, it's not the tallest of players but if, you're, if you do have a right back or left back the height doesn't really matter as much as the centre backs and as you can see it does have 75 pace, 82 defending and 80 physical as well with 74 dribbling which is not too bad either so yeah that's the defence done let's get into the midfield. So the first centre mid that we're going to cover is going to be on the right uh, which is a right centre mid obviously and the play that we do have in that position is going to be Emery Chan as you can see um, he's a very very strong player this year. Um, a very, very strong card as you can see his stats are just absolutely amazing and I did pay 5.5k for him um, I did snipe him as well for like 2k cheaper things like 7k worth like 7.5k worth which is really expensive for an 8 for an 8 rated player and um, yeah he does have medium medium uh, player work rates which is just absolutely amazing because that means he's going to stay in the centre of the pitch and obviously he's going to get the ball back and play to my strikers and he is very tall like nearly every single player in this team is really really tall and as you can see, he is six foot two high. He does have really, really good foot, uh, weak foot with four stars, and his stats are just absolutely amazing. Um, seventy eight dribbling, seventy eight defending, eighty two physical, seventy eight seventy eight passing, sorry, and seventy six pace as well. And the shooting is not too bad either. Um, so yeah, that's the right centre mid. The left centre mid um, will be uh, harder to run, and 
display is just so so good to see on FIFA. Um, as you guys may know, uh, last year it was a left mid or right mid, I can't really remember. But uh, in this FIFA, it did get position position changed into a centre mid. And as I'd say, uh, we do have a lot of tall players, but he is not the tallest. You can see 5 foot 10 height, uh, high, uh, high, high attacking work rate. So he's like a box to box player. Um, he does have really, really good weak foot and skill moves with four stars on each. And his stats are just absolutely amazing 86 dribbling, 73 physical, 83 passing, and 74 shooting as well. I did pay 8.5k for him, and in my opinion, he is worth the coins. And the last player in the midfield is going to be um, the camp uh, player, which is going to be Oscar, the Brazilian from Chelsea. And as you can see, guys, he is a decent player. He's not as good as he was last year. Uh, as you can see, his stats, stats are not the best. Um, he does have really, really good dribbling with 83. His pace is not is not too bad, and um, passing is, is alright as well, 79. And yeah, I did pay 6.4k uh, 6 for him. He does have medium attacking work rates and uh, high defensive work rates, which is not, which is not the best really. Um, but I did need him for the chemistry reasons. And yeah, he does have 4 star skill boost, which is really, really helpful as always. Because as you guys do know, I do like to skill quite a lot. And yeah, this limit field on let's get to the three forwards, which is the left wing, the right wing and the striker. So in the right wing position, we are going to be having a new transfer player. Um, for West Ham, which is going to be for Gooley, and he is 8 rated on FIFA 17 this year, and a really strong card as well. He does have 88 pacing, 84 dribbling, 72 passing, 73 shooting, and eight and four star skill moves as well. I did play, I mean, pay 2.3k, which is all right. And if you guys are looking for a cheap option on the right wing position in the BPL, for Gooley is the player for you. And in the striker position, we are going to be having another class player. Um, this year on FIFA, which is going to be Batshuayi, a new transfer player as well, and he is a really, really good Belgian striker on FIFA 17, as did early, as I did say earlier. So as you can see, guys, I did pay nearly 12,000 coins for him, and he does have really, really good stats as well: 83 pace, 79 dribbling, 80 shooting, and 73 physical as well. His work rates are not the best, um, but he does have really, really good weak foot as well. So when his price does drop a little bit. I do recommend you guys purchasing him and putting him into your ultimate team. And in the last position on the squad builder is going to be um, a left wing, which is obviously I did pick him up for the left mid um, uh, position card. And as you can see, his name is Carrasco and is a really, really good uh, player this year on FIFA as well. And yeah, I did pick him up with the engine chemistry, uh, chemistry style as well. And yeah, really, really strong card as I said earlier. His dribbling is so, so good, just the same as Figurilis, and it's just so easy cutting in with this guy. Um, he does have um, 88 pace, 84 dribbling, uh, 75 shooting, and 76 passing as well. Really, really good weak foot, and really, 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 really good skill moves as well. I did pay 9.5k, and yeah, he's a really, really good player, so I do recommend you guys purchasing him. So yeah, this is the squad builder. Um, it is, it is worth like 75 to 80,000 coins as I did say earlier. It is worth it. Uh, I did play one game only, but like this team is just absolutely amazing. So what we'll do now, guys, is go play some games and just show you show you guys some highlights and show you the best goals I scored with this team. If you guys did enjoy this video, then hit that like button. If you can hit like 15 to 20 likes, that would just be amazing. Subscribe if you're new to the channel and if you want to see my videos like this. Have a great day and I will see you next time.